And you got to give them thanks. Say, thank you, Lord, for saving me. In the name, or in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, when you get this kind of word, and you hear what the word of God says, look, this word is not directed to the aisles of no church. This is directed straight to the sinners. That when it's given to the sinners, that God will send them where he fit, see fit for them to go. See, everywhere you go ain't for you. You got to ask God, Lord, where is it that you want me to be? Where do I fit in in this puzzle that's going on out here in the world? Lord, that I don't want to be lost. I don't want to leave here lost. I don't want to leave it unsaved. I want you to help me. I want you to show me which way you want me to go. I believe if you prayed that prayer, I don't believe without a shadow of a doubt that God would take his hands up off of that which you have prayed. Because I believe the word of God said, now one of your prayers, I mean now one of your fervent prayers has never ever touched the ground. I believe we continue to uh, commune with Christ, pray as we gather our families together, whether you be individual, seeking Christ. You, you really need to get your life right. It, it, it ain't no more time left. It really ain't. And when you go out there and the pleasure of the world are steady growing stronger, the, the technology is getting more stronger, events, cars, homes, all this stuff is just so quickly put together. And all it's really designed is to fleece whatever out of you that you have and just throw you away. Th it'll throw you away and then they'll get somebody else. The devil just want to give you all the pleasures of the world. And sometimes we're so mixed up and we're so deranged in our thinking. You think, you, not, not, I ain't saying that Christ said you, that, that you can't have things, but I believe the word of God said you got to put him first. And even when you put him first, you got to solidify your life with Christ. You really got to get straight with Christ. I, listen here. I ain't talking about whether you Lutheran. I ain't talking about whether you Catherine. I ain't talking about whether you Pentecostal. I ain't talking about whether you Baptist. I ain't talking about none of that denomination. I'm talking about kingdom. Get yourself right with the kingdom of God. Then when God is declared for you to have that what he have in the kingdom of God, he will by no means go back on his word. He said, I came that you may have life and you to have it more abundantly. He loves you. He cares for you. And he wants the best for you. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, don't get it twisted. This, this, ain't, this ain't nothing you need to play with. You really need to understand and find your relationship with Christ. It's an individual relationship. And it's not found in businesses. It's not found in stuff. It's not found in cliques. It's not found in clubs. It's not found in any kind of these titlements. It's a personal relationship between you and Christ. That when y'all come together as one, you establish your place, your place with Christ individually. It's not about how big the ministry is. It's not about how big the church is. It's not about how good the things you may have for the kids, which is good. You want to have a place where the kids can learn. But I'm telling you, sometimes in my ministry, I have all the kids and all the grown-ups together because I want them to learn. We, we, we want to get kids in church and get away from around us and throw them in the recreational part of the ministry for they to go out and have fun. I pray that they teach the Holy Spirit up in that recreational part of the ministry that your kids can come home and tell you about something they learned in Bible study that will help the whole family move forward. I'm Pastor Charles Ellis. I know. Yeah, we've been on for a minute. I'm Pastor Charles Ellis here at Harvest New Life Church. Here at New Life Studios here in the city of Dallas. I'm telling you, man and woman, God, if you want to get in contact with me, go to my website. That's harvestnewlifechurch.com. If you want to call me, you can do the same. All the information you need is all on my website. All the current events and everything that's going on, what our beliefs is, what our vision is, everything that you need, what we delegate, what we, what, what we believe is going to be the coming of the kingdom of God as we get ourselves together. All that is on the website. You can read about me and who I am and what I do. And, it, and, you, and you're welcome to send emails, even contact with us. Be a, part of our connect, be a part of our contact team. Go to our contacts and sign up and put your email in there. Be a part of them. These shows come out, they'll go straight to your iPad, email, whatever it may be, and give you an alarm, give you a, a alarm alert to let you know that we're on the air. You know, our statement of faith. What we do, donate to the church. I believe we got good ground here. I know it takes money to run the ministry, but I'm telling you, God's been providing for us supernaturally. But I still believe if you don't have a church home and you don't have no place to go, you all might want to consider coming out to the Harvest New Life Church and being a part of what we're doing here on the radio or in our personal building space, physical space, and to God tell you where you need to be. Or he developed you the way he need to develop you. God bless each and every one of you. I pray that this word was a word to help every one of you. I pray that you go over this scripture and read these chapters and see what God is speaking about in this service on the night. And I pray that each and every one of you be blessed. Until then, for me, co-pastor Patty Ellis, here at Harvest New Life Church, 
We bless you and we thank you for joining with us. To our conference. We're going to do a lot of worship the next few days. But the foundation of all worship is an understanding of the great love of the Father. And I like to sing that little children's song. You know, Jesus said, in order for us to really come into the kingdom, we have to come like a child. Now, we're not supposed to be childish, just childlike. And just really understand the truth that Jesus loves me. This I know. And really, worship is simply love responding to love. And so really to lay a foundation for this week. we just sing this one more time and we want you to understand that he loves us. I don't know what you're going through, what your circumstance is, but somebody needs to hear. This will wash all of the heartache away. He loves us. Oh, come on, sing it out. <laughs> 